Hi guys, uh, just Megan here. Um, I am, in case you're wondering, I'm taking this video today um, as I'm stretched out in on my bed. Um, I'm dressed, sort of, but in a robe on top. So I just, uh, I guess I wanted to add a video just to be real. Um, for those of us who, also, for those of you who suffer with, say, fibromyalgia or some other form of chronic pain like I do, um, this is not an unusual position to be in where you are in bed because of the pain. I, I really didn't even do anything um, yesterday other than try on like two or three different outfits for my last video post. And for those of you who are familiar with it, basically especially for fibromyalgia, is you can have those moments where you feel really good, um, but if you somehow manage to overdo it, which I always do, um, you get what's called um, the rebound pain, and it is massively kicking my butt. Sorry, that's the sound of my dog, Ace, in the background, kind of huffing and puffing his way around the house. Um, he's a sweet boy, but he is an old boy, so he uh, has a harder time moving around. Um, kind of like me. And have you guys ever had it where, okay, let's say you get some sort of a, like a cold infection or bronchitis and you get into antibiotics, right? And you say, let's say you're supposed to take them for 10 days. Have you ever, now I've done this, so no judgment on my part, but have you ever done it where you're like five or six days in, um, you feel totally fine, you are you feel okay, so you stop taking the antibiotics, and then, of course, the very next day, you feel even worse and more crappy than before. By the way, I'm not saying stop antibiotics if you get them for something. Please don't. Uh, take them until you're done. But I thought I was getting better the other day. I said I, could, I was feeling a cold coming on, and for like a day... Um, I thought, yeah, I'm starting to feel a bit better. Um, I've, I'm, I've got a handle on this. Uh, I'll be great. I'll be fine. Everything's going to be fantastic. And then I noticed yesterday, uh, even just trying to get the energy to go out for breakfast with my husband yesterday, just in town, I was totally drained. It took everything in me to change my outfit, like, was it three times? Three or four times which to most people is nothing but honestly for me my back was kill my back was so sore my arms hurt my neck was all sore there's basically for people who don't know fibromyalgia um which is basically myalgia just means global pain and fibro means your fibrous tissues like your muscles so you have muscle pains everywhere so for me i get them all along here like on the top of my shoulder both sides back of my neck front here in my chest. Um, I get them in my lower back, um, all the way across, like the actual tailbone area and just above, um, outside and inside of both knees, outside and inside of my ankles, and then usually all my toes and the bottoms of my feet. Plus, um, I have Raynaud's, which is this really fun condition where, for whatever reason, your brain sends signals to your nerves uh, to say, ooh, her feet are too hot. Don't send too much blood. Let the blood go elsewhere. We'll let her feet cool off. And meanwhile, you know, my feet get too cold, right? So if it's below 20 degrees Celsius and I don't have any socks on, then my toes will usually go like white and then sort of like a light bluey color, bluishy purpley and then I have to wait and put socks on or cover up and let them go back to normal and my hands my fingers used to do it all the time but I have these compression gloves um that help me because I've got arthritis all through both both hands and wrists I am only 47 by the way I'm not 87 I'm 47 um but five years ago um I suffered a spinal disc injury and Basically, I was taking some laundry out of the dryer. You know, I was kind of bending over to the, bending over and twisted over a bit to the side to pull it out, and all of a sudden I couldn't stand up. And it took 
um, the GP and specialists and everybody else, it took them months to finally send me for an MRI because I could feel, I could actually feel a lump, um, basically what they say between my L4 and L5, which is fancy talk for the disc that is between your lumbar um, vertebra number four and five at the, at the end of the spine. And, you know, um, it didn't, it went out far enough that I literally, I was kind of bent over like this. I could not stand up straight. I could not. I got about this far. Um, my right hip was like way higher than my left and I could barely walk, you know, and I saw like an osteopath and got a chiropractic adjustment and that kind of popped everything in place. And that lasted about a week and it hurt like hell and potentially caused more damage. So even to this day, my, my right hip is higher than my left. My pelvis is slightly askew. Um, I mean, it might've been slightly before, but it was totally after this. So anyways, in spite of all my pain, um, they think that's what triggered my fibromyalgia, but they've also said that I've had symptoms for years, decades even. Um, but it was that major event that triggered it. And then two summers ago, my husband and I were on our way back home from London and some idiot who wasn't wearing sunglasses, didn't have her visor down, had too many people in her car. Um, she had more people in her car than she had seatbelts. So that was not good, but she back, she hit us from behind while we were waiting at a roundabout. So it wasn't that she hit it hard, but because I already had all this pre-existing stuff, she hit me hard enough, um, that she caused that she caused me to have a uh, whiplash and I have those symptoms still to this day. I have tried physiotherapy. I have tried water therapy. Um, those are the only real therapies they could do. And it has not helped at all. So I'm kind of left with this. And so some days when I have really good days, I get up, you know, my person comes and helps me shower and get dressed and I'll get out in my electric wheelchair and I'll go into town or I'll get coffee or I might go to Primark and not even buy anything, but I just like to win. I love to window shop. I love the smell of like denim, brand new, you know, folded stacks of denim or, you know, brand new cardigans and, and sweaters and all that kind of stuff. I know weird, but there we have it. Um, and when I have bad days, I try to push through, but today I was just so completely exhausted. Um, even though I woke up around nine, my sleep was so interrupted. I was up like four times last night because of my pain, in spite of all my pain meds. And I couldn't sleep anymore, so I got up, had breakfast. I actually stayed in my jammies until like noon, which is unheard of for me. Me, I prefer to be up and showered and everything else. And I did sort of get dressed. I, th I mean, undergarments on, I uh, got a bra on my most comfortable one, threw on my t-shirt dress. Um, wasn't feeling the leggings. I was too warm probably because I just got out of a hot shower. But anyways, came into the bedroom, stretch out like this. My husband was in here playing some music for me. And, um, this is at noon, right? And I think I stayed in bed and I ended up drifting off sort of to sleep for two hours. And even when I got up, I still felt like crap. I still have aches and pains. Everything hurts so much. And I don't want to be a downer, but I don't think I've had this much pain since I hurt my back. This is a bad day. And I'm not saying that I don't want pity. I really don't. I'm not saying it to get pity or anything. I'm just saying, I guess... I totally understand for those of you who suffer with fibromyalgia or any other chronic pain or any kind of chronic illness like um, ankle spondylosis, ankylos sorry, I'm saying it wrong. I know what it is. I've read about it. Um, I'm following somebody who has it on Instagram, uh, Jedi Master. He's, he's hilarious. His, his stories are fantastic. If you if you, if you find him on Instagram, you should totally follow him. Um, so anybody who deals with chronic pain, I totally get it. I just, 
I wanted to show that I'm, it's okay to not always be okay if that's where you're at. Yeah, I'll be right there. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to say that I totally get it. And this is just me, real, you know. Today, I was just so completely drained. I, I managed to get in the shower and wash my hair. Didn't even Couldn't even use a hair dryer, you know, just left it wet. So it kind of looks like this. But you know what? If you guys, you know, want to share if your experiences or, you know, you feel like you need someone to talk to because you're going through it or you know someone who's going through this kind of stuff, feel free to you know, leave your comments or let me know. Hopefully I can help. I don't know, but, uh, I just want to say thanks you guys for everything. Um, please, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video and you want to see more of these, please, uh, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Thank you guys for everything. You are amazing and so supportive and I will see you guys on my next video.